Welcome to the Living the Dream Podcast with Curveball. If you believe, you can achieve. Welcome to the Living the Dream with Curveball Podcast, a show where I interview guests that teach, motivate, and inspire. Today, I am joined by singer, songwriter, and guitar player, John Dorsch. John has been doing his thing for 45 years, so we're going to be talking to him about everything that he's up to and how he got started and all of his uh, musical influences. So, John, thank you so much for joining me today. Oh, most welcome. My pleasure to be here. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy about this. Why don't you start off by telling everybody a little bit about yourself? Okay. Um, well, my home is, uh, I live in a little place called Rideau Ferry. It's on a, on a lake um, outside of the nation's capital of Canada, Ottawa, um, about an hour away. So I'm out of the city and uh, I kind of like rural living. It uh, keeps me grounded in nature. I have a lot of nature around here. So it's a very nice place to, a nice calm place to be, which is, which is nice. I worked in the city for years and it was kind of the opposite. I had a career as a police officer for 31 years and uh, I needed to seek out places to keep me grounded, which uh, music does that for me too. Okay. Well, speaking of that, tell us how you actually got into music. I I know you talked about in your bio how you used to put the pennies on the record. So kind of tell us uh, how you got started. Okay. So um, I I think it's always, uh, always had a love of music. I remember even as a a young child, my mother singing to me, she was, they, they both played piano a little bit and sang songs. Um, and, you know, in different languages too, my mother was Ukrainian and my father's grandmother, and I remember them singing in the different languages. Um, and about, uh, the age of eight, um, my parents bought me an accordion. So that was their vision of music for me for a while, playing polkas and, and things like that. So I got into that for a little bit. And as, as you get older and you start to reach, um, high school, all of a sudden I, I began, uh, becoming aware of all this other great music like Elvis Presley and, uh. My mother liked Elvis Presley. My father liked Bach, liked Pavarotti, and my mother um, operas and musicals. So there was always music going on in the real, and we could hear rock and country on the on the radio, which was new and fresh. And I was really attracted to the innovators. So from what I was hearing, I, I wanted to learn how to play guitar. I didn't have a guitar, but uh, I had an uncle who took me under his wing, and um, he took me uh, to Kingston. I'd probably be about the age of. And I just played a couple of, learned how to play a couple of bar chords on a friend's guitar. He showed me how to play Maggie Mae by Rod Stewart. And my fingers were so sore because I'd never played before and they were, I wouldn't give up. <laughs> so anyway, uh, he took me to, to see his brother's touring band in, in Kingston. He was a drummer and they had a, a rehearsal and it, they were, they were unbelievable. I remember as a young kid just being riveted, they played in you know, holds a line and stairway to heaven and sounded just like what I'd ever heard on the radio. And the guitar player took me up and put his Gibson Les Paul in my hand and had me try to plunk a few bar chords for a, a song and that. And I've been hooked ever since. So I took, uh, I would, I would take pennies and put them on the albums at my, of my mother's turntable to slow it down and detune the guitar to try to match up the sounds. And I remember figuring out day tripper the first time on that and I thought wow I can I, I can really do this so I, I started training my ear and I had a real ear for music and that's sort of where it sort of started and I got I got the bug right from from then on I always wanted to be that's where it started well your wife uh also uh d- does music right along with you so you know kind of kind of tell us about that and what you guys do your your motto is put smiles on faces that's that's right we uh music is about about joy and and you know you want to you want to if you're playing live you want to move the the listener and the entertainer it's entertainment now it's not just listening to music so you, you want to entertain people and take them away from where they are and engage them so that's that's what i hope my music does um my wife and i met at one of my shows actually so we both worked at the same place she was a dispatcher for ottawa police her name is dan Paula danny <laughs> she's my musical partner and uh she happened to show up and we met that way and didn't realize where i was a police officer and she was a dis- my dispatcher i didn't know that but anyway funny how that works so we uh 
we, we ended up getting getting married and I would catch her singing um, you know in harmony with me when I was finishing playing songs because I, I started doing my solo thing because the bands all folded with the March 2020 uh, big problem there so I had to kind of redesign what I was going to do with music I was I was always playing in cover bands and I really wanted to do my own stuff but could never find people to, to work with me so it ended up you've got to rely on yourself so I just decided I was going to do it all myself and uh, so I you know studied finger style so I don't need a bass player and a drummer I just put all that into my music and uh, and I have my wife here uh, with me immensely as a great support system I mean, she sings with me and uh it's a fabulous kind of arrangement sweet so tell us about some of your biggest musical influences that uh that influenced you to, you to do what you do okay so um yeah it was the it was the guitar innovators that that really that inspired me i remember you know hearing you know you know the jimmy page uh playing you know on you know ramble on and uh i remember hearing that song and just like wow that's just crazy music you have this great electric guitar but it's blended with acoustic and the two weren't really together uh, um that much as I, I recall so that's where i sort of started this blending of, of electric and acoustic so as i could play electric i really wanted to kind of put the two together um so fingerstyle kind of drew me to that i remember hearing the song dust in the wind and i i I just I just want some of the playing so so good so um I painstakingly learned that one note for note listening to the album very slowly and and of course I didn't play it right until I was later shown how to do Travis picking but uh I sort of fell into this love of finger style after you know playing you know all kinds of Van Halen stuff note for note and I did all of that you know the, the great guitar player kind of stuff which was was fun, but I always wanted to keep learning more about it. So I started studying theory and reading reading music and learning about how writing songs, reading books how to write songs, and eventually got into a bit of, of jazz playing. I was in a jazz band, and uh, a friend of mine goes, uh, "You have to see this guy, Tommy Amen," and showed me a YouTube video of him playing classical gas, and uh, I was blown away. I thought I've got to got to do some of that in my life. It's He's the whole entertainer and great guitar player. So I eventually saw him in Montreal around 2000, I guess, 13, maybe, and met him backstage. He was so gracious. Uh, gave me some of his videos. I ended up attending two of his guitar camps. One uh, was in Louisiana and uh, got to experience some great food in Louisiana and, and stay there for a week playing crazy guitar and learning everything I could from him. And it's made an imprint of my life. I'd say he's one of the biggest inspirations in my life, along with, you know, Jimmy Page and the Beatles. Uh, those all made a huge impression on me. So if someone was to ask you what kind of genre your music is, uh, how would you classify it? It's, uh, it's, it's a hybrid of, you know, you're going to hear some, you know, country picking guitar in there. You're going to hear rock guitar. You're going to hear, you know, eloquent leads um you're going to hear a, a different you know it's going to be more uplifting i guess you'd sort of classify it as adult contemporary um you know I, I don't i don't i don't sing about you know drinking on the back of a pickup truck or anything like that i'm i'm not about that i'm more into you know speaking about life themes and you know inspirational themes um like the song faith in me uh we've got a single out on my new album uh it reached number one um on the uk uh itunes top 100 folk chart um surprisingly to me um because it's, it was such a different song but it's a series of inspirational things you know have faith in yourself that that of a, a song and uh it's uh you know got a catchy chorus in it and uh able to sing along with it so that's that's kind of what my music is you, you'll hear some some interesting you know intense guitar playing and a lot of melody and harmony Okay, let us know about any current or upcoming projects that you're working on that listeners need to know about. Okay, so um, on on July the 14th, just just my uh, my my debut album uh, dropped. I have a 15 song original album that that dropped It's up on Spotify and um, and Deezer and uh, Apple Music. So you can you can find me there on on those two platforms under my name, John Dorsch Music. 
and uh, I've also got YouTubes out there. So we're, we're we've been pretty busy. I've got a bunch of YouTubes under my my website music dot com. So that's kind of a one stop shop that'll take you to all those other places where you can stream my album. And you're going to find all those those songs. It's quite quite diverse. The album you're going to hear a lot of uh, from rock to folk on there. There's three uh, fairly intense uh, instrumental songs that I wrote. That would be, you know, inspired by John Mayer and, and Tommy Emanuel's as influences, if you want to understand what they might sound like. And um, there's lots of lots of singing and uh, and lyrics on there. And I hope the listeners seek it out and, and uh, get some joy out of it. Well, you just answered my next question. John Dosh Music dot com. Close us out with some final thoughts. Maybe if that was something I forgot to talk about that you would like to touch on or just any final thoughts you have for the listeners. Well, I, we, ju- we just want to um, spread a hopeful message there. You know, um, there's lots to be down about in the, in the earth, but you, ha- you have to look at everything that happens in life as a, as a, a learning lesson. And it's much easier to, to look ahead and, and, and keep going. Uh, if you, you just look at, I, I need to learn something uh, from when, but uh, you know, you know, the sun does come up tomorrow. You can you can redesign your life. You can create your life however, you and um, your life is how you look at it. And I choose to look at life positively, and and stay grounded. And um, music is a, is a great way. Uh, it's like time travel. Whenever you hear a familiar song, it takes you back to that mood and it when it first inspired you. So, music's very important. All right, John Music dot com, ladies and gentlemen. Be sure to check out that new album. Check out everything that John's up to. Follow, rate, review, share this episode to as many people as possible. If you have any guests or suggestion topics, see Jackson102 at Cox.net is the place to send them. As always, thank you for listening. And John, thank you so much for joining me. Yes, thank you very much. The uh, new album is Elevation, and the idea was to elevate the end. I, I really appreciate your time. For more information on the Living the Dream podcast, visit www.djcurveball.com. Until next time, stay focused on living the dream.